Glad you could join us today. We are always happy happy to provide um, anyone with information about professional learning resources and supports that we can offer through the Kentucky Department of Education. And today we're going to put a focus back on our getting to know the CAS professional learning modules and particular areas that when you're involved in implementation, you may want to refocus or to make a special focus as you're moving deeper into your understanding. Now, the modules we're gonna take a look at today, we're gonna to look at reading, writing, and math, but both serve these purposes. The purpose of these learning modules is to help develop this deeper understanding of our standards. Also, it's to strengthen those connections between the components that are in the standards and how those components can support teachers, you know, as they're working to design their instruction and their grade level assignments. It's also there to help um, build these experiences for students through this learning so that they have this rich, engaging experience that's based on those standards. And you know, Jackie, one of the things that we really love about these modules is that they have these rich um, discovery tasks built into them. And their whole purpose is to really give teachers an experience of digging in deeper to the concepts that are highlighted in the different sections of the modules. So it's a very engaging module or um, all of those modules for our teachers. That's exactly right. So as we highlight some of these areas, know that their discovery tasks that will lead a PLC or whatever group or an individual deeper into that learning. So what you would do to find the modules, we always take you to kystandards.org and to the standards resources. Once you're there, you can look in the general resources or content area resources to find professional learning modules. Now, once inside there, and I'm gonna go into the general resources, you're gonna see all of the getting to know the CAS modules together. You'll, if you were to scroll down, you would see more modules as well, but these are those um, ones that build that basis of understanding. And today we're gonna to focus on the first two of reading, writing, and mathematics. When you look at the modules, you'll see that there's a facilitator's guide, the actual module, and the module at a glance. And those pieces are there to really help a person or maybe a couple to facilitate the learning with others and then to have all the materials that you need to go with that. Now, when we take a look at these modules today, we're going to just focus on a couple areas. For the reading and writing, we're going to take just a quick glimpse at the interdisciplinary literacy practices and the multidimensionality. And then for mathematics, the areas that we would offer um, to say, let's focus here would be mathematical practice and mathematical content, clarification and coherence. So inside the reading and writing module, the two areas that we, and there are more areas than this, but we would say, take a good look at sections 1C and 1D. 1C is a deeper dive into those interdisciplinary literacy practices, and 1D is about unpacking the multidimensionality of the standards. 1C takes this in-depth look at the purpose of those literacy practices, and it helps folks to see those differences between the 10 interdisciplinary literacy practices and then apply that also through the grade level content standards. But also it helps us explore how all of these pieces fit together like a puzzle to support, equip, and empower students. So it's how do we move from this teacher learning to empower students so they're building their knowledge and mastering skills within these reading and writing standards. Now in 1D, when we're talking about multidimensionality, this is gonna be an experience that's gonna help teachers or coaches or whomever's going through this to build this understanding of the multidimensionality of the standards. Um, also, it supports teachers in the design of instruction and those standards aligned assignments, and it helps them reflect on their current instructional choices to make determinations of what, what we're doing well and things that we might want to change or to add to. And so just like with the getting to know the CAS for reading and writing, we want to highlight some sections within the CAS for mathematics. So like Jackie said earlier, there are many sections within this, but those that we would like to highlight and we would really recommend spending time on these. The first one is section 1C, which is taking a closer look at the standards for mathematical practice. Section 1D, which is looking at those standards for mathematical content. And then section E, which is going to highlight the clarifications and coherence. 
So when you look at Section 1C, it focuses on the standards for mathematical practice. And really the purpose of this is for the participants to develop a shared understanding of each practice and what it might look like in action in the classroom, because ultimately the goal is that the teachers understand those practices well enough that they then can apply that understanding to design grade level tasks that's going to engage students in those mathematical practices. In Section D, it's looking at the standards for mathematical content. And again, it is designed to help the participants develop an understanding of the grade level expectations. And then within those grade level expectations, it's looking at what are the three elements of mathematical proficiency that's represented within the CAS document as well. And it all goes back to something Jackie mentioned earlier the better understanding that we have of this, then teachers can better ensure that classroom instruction is aligned to the grade level content standards. And then finally, we just wanted to highlight section E, which is focusing in on the clarifications and coherence. So in terms of the clarifications, this is really designed to help build an understanding about how those clarifications are going to communicate the expectations more clearly and concisely, which is something that the writers of the standards was tasked to do from the beginning. And then in terms of the coherence, this is designed to help the participants examine the coherence within the Castro mathematics on a wider scale. So that they can understand when they're really looking at their standards, what are connections that I can make with standards in my grade level, as well as across the different grade levels um, to help build better student understanding. So that's just a quick highlight of the reading, um, the CAS, I'm sorry, getting to know the CAS for reading and writing and the getting to know the CAS for mathematics. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to send those to standards at ky.gov. And we thank you for taking the time to listen to this today.